Liebe Whisky-Freunde, in den nächsten Episoden zeigen wir euch ein paar Interviews, die wir auf dem Vienna Bar and Spirits Festival von Falstaff in der Hofburg aufgenommen haben. Uh, jetzt sind wir beim Tomatenstand. Ich schalte wieder um auf Englisch. Uh, we are talking English now. I think you, you are not capable of, of German. Speaking a different language, yeah. My name is George and you are? I'm Nigel Robinson. Nigel Robbins. So, and what is your profession, your duty at Tomatin? Look after some of Eastern Europe, some of Western Europe, and also travel retail. Okay. Ah, that's a that's a that's a good uh, point. Travel retail. What can you tell us about travel retail? Because as far as I know, travel retail are whiskies that are only available at airports. Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, airports or on cruise ships or, or the, that kind of thing, or even border, sh uh, border shops. But uh, we have um, almost, uh, we'll have an exclusive range for um, travel retail bar, the 12 year old. So we have an eight year old, 12, which is in domestic and um, travel retail, a 15 and a 40 year old. Um, so we try and split the two so that um, it keeps our domestic markets happy as well. Why? Uh, well, otherwise, you know, stock, you know, stock comes leaking back into the markets in, in bigger bottles, or especially the 8, the 15, and the 40-year-old, if it leaks back into the domestic market, it's unfair with our domestic partners. So we can, we can see where it's coming from. Okay, let's, let's change the subject. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Five Virtues series. Yes. Uh, But I think it was sold out very fast, so it's 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 hard it's hard to get some bottles. I still have some on stock for my fans. Uh, but did you bring some new? Um, the only new one I have just now is the the 15 year old Moscatel, uh, but it was bourbon cast for 10 years and then Moscatel for five. Moscatel for five years. It sounds very interesting. Wine cask finish. Yeah, it's a lovely. Slightly sweeter expression because of the Moscatel, and um, it's got all those lovely bourbon notes to it, and then that sweeter uh, Moscatel finish as well, you know, with nice sort of apricotty notes to it as well. But, you know, and married with the bourbon, it's a it's a lovely expression, very easy drinking. So I think we make it uh, like we always do it with uh, the whiskey devil, that we present now the new Tomatin Moscatel finish whiskey. Please. Limited Edition, 15 Jahre, 5 Jahre im Moscatel Weinfass, davor 10 Jahre im, im Bourbon. It was 10 years Bourbon cask, you said, yeah? Okay. Nigel was so nice uh, to put us some of these new Tomatin Whiskey into the glass and now we are going to taste it. Slunch. Sehr gut, uh, sehr empfehlenswerter Whisky. Um, die typische Fülle uh, des ersten Schluckes, wie bei uh, dem Five Virtues Water, nein, wie bei dem Five Virtues uh, Metal. Danach uh, eine, eine Fülle an exotischen Früchten. There comes a full basket of, yeah, of, of real, exotic fruits sweet, after the first. Yeah, totally. That real sweet, that sweet wine note, um, and then, but you can also get those bourbon casks, the vanillas in there, caramels just floating around in amongst all those fruity notes. Uh, it's lovely on the nose, and then the same in in the mouth as well. You get that sweetness up front, and then a, a sort of nice oaky note, crisp oaky note as well. Uh, to, to finish it off and balance it out. Yeah, he's, he's right. Uh, the uh, the oaky note is also there, besides a, a full basket of fruit and a, and a, and a hint of vanilla. It's very, it's very nice. Um, I wonder how strong it is. 46%. 46%. So it means we also could try it with a drop of water and then see what happens. Do you have some? Yeah. Glass? 
Okay, also der Tropfen Wasser, uh, the drop of water made it a bit smoother in the nose. And I think there is also a bit mint now. Yeah, it's always like this after a drop of water, you can uh, get a, a more precise feeling of the, of the cask it was in. I like that very much. Yeah. So, Nigel, thank you very much. Uh, one last question. Um, what about the future of Tomatin? Are they preparing to bring out more... Uh, limited editions like the first five virtues or, or are, are they going to have um, more age statement whiskies? What is going to happen? We'll continue to have a mix of, of age, aged and non-aged and just looking at some innovative stuff to drive the brand forward and the sector as a whole. You know, we're always trying to do that. Um, we want to actually just recently um, the best campaign for Five Virtues series, so um, as a marketing campaign. So we're, you know, we're constantly looking for new things, whether it be non-age or age. There's more stuff coming. There will be a 50-year-old coming at some point soon, um, and then there's more in the pipeline that I can't really say much about. But but we'll continually push and see what we can do to keep things relevant and and keep on creating fantastic whiskey. So thank you very much and yeah, hope to see you in Scotland. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.